What's going down, guys? Tifa Tom here. And today, I'm bringing you something different. I'm bringing you a relatively new game, Killzone 3. Have you heard of it? No? Oh, well, technically, it was originally bought out to be the Halo killer of the PlayStation, but the original Killzone was a bit of a flop, had problems. Killzone 2 came out a couple of years later. It was actually quite successful, and it was a good game. And now this game's come out, Killzone 3, and... This game is... This game's fun. Uh, you may have saw my previous video where I was highlighting some, uh, gripes, complaints about it, but those are only just sort of one minor thing. I don't know why I did that. I sort of wanted to find out if anyone else had that problem. But other than those problems, this game is just really, really fun. <laughs> it came out in Australia, I think, just yesterday when I am recording this, uh, Thursday, uh, 24th, was it the 25th? I don't know. And I've already played it for, I think, almost 10 hours. Um, actually, I wouldn't normally play any game for that long. It's just they had that double XP thing, which I've been doing a lot. I'm already, like, halfway through the entire ranking system, which is good. And I have a lot, a lot of unlocked points. <laughs> so, it doesn't matter that I've unlocked all the weapons already. Because of the 24-hour thing. Once that happens, I'm just going to unlock them all again. So, it never really bothers me. Anyway, this game is completely different from Call of Duty. Just throw all your skills, all your success at Call of Duty out the window and start playing Killzone. You get screwed over. Well, actually, no, if you throw out all your Call of Duty strategies, you won't. But I came in here, I mean, I'm a, without saying bragging, I'm a good Call of Duty player. When it comes to Killzone, I'm, I'm not that good. Um... I mean, if you're talking about KD or whatever, that silly stat, it doesn't make any difference in this game whatsoever. It's like Battlefield Bad Company, or Battlefield in general, I think, I'm not sure. Uh, this game's all objective-based, except for this game mode, which I'm playing now. Um, I'll just get that stuff out of the way. This is actually called Guerrilla Warfare, which is basically the equivalent of Team Deathmatch. And I'm playing this not because uh, it's my favourite game mode, but because the games are, are a lot shorter. If uh, There's three game types. There's... Warzone, which is not this one. Warzone is a collection of all the objective game types, like, I guess, in uh, Lehman's terms. There's Capture the Flag, Search and Destroy, Domination, uh, and a whole bunch of others. Oh, an Assassination, where you get to kill a VIP sort of person. And that's really, really fun. I like, I play Warzone the most. There's Operations, which sort of sees you and your team in um, various cutscenes, and with the Hellgast, the enemy team, the bad guys defending their base, and the good guys, the ISA, uh, well, attacking the base. Um, that's also fun. It can get a bit repetitive, because there's, I don't think there's too many maps. There was only three that I saw, but I may have just been confused. But, yeah, I'm just playing Team Deathmatch, because the games don't last any more than ten minutes, and Warzone ones can last from, well, I've never actually played a Warzone one that was, like, less than fifteen. And I don't think many people would watch that that length, and I think this video itself is quite long, so that's why I sped up a couple of parts, actually just one part, whatever. But, it took me a while to get into Killzone 3, like, not that it was a bad game or anything, it's just to find find my groove. I usually, like, find a, a really good weapon that I like, and then I stick with it occasionally. Well, I don't stick with the... Oh, <coughs> raspy voice, shit. Anyway, I find my weapon that I like, and if I'm having trouble, I can just go back to that weapon, I'll do fine. That's what I've done in previous Call of Duties, uh, not so much in Black Ops, but like Modern Warfare 2, I love the tar. But with this game, it took me a while, it took me about six hours of gameplay, till I found this gun. This is sort of the first gun unlocked for the Tactician class, which is a silent SMG, and it's it's reasonable. Um, I quite like it. It can hold its own at close range and medium range, long range. It's, I still try and shoot people at long range. But, I'm generally not very successful. I just pull out my rocket launch, which is now my favorite secondary, because it's fun. Even though the explosive range isn't too large, so it's not overpowered. I don't know, I just, I just like this SMG. Also, in the same class, see different classes have different weapons, abilities, etc., etc. Um, there's also the standard assault rifle, uh, I don't know, M82, I'm probably making stuff up now. Um, that's actually also a really good gun. I sometimes use that. But generally, I stick with this one. And you might be seeing me um, have sort of a, I don't know what you'd call it, a UAV going down my screen. 
and that's actually one of the tactician's abilities. It's sort of like a, um, a UAV. It, um, I think it brings up people, like enemies on the map, like as red dots, and it also highlights them if you're looking at them, like even through a wall, like by making a little circle thing, which you may or may not have seen before. And it's also got this uh, secondary uh, thing that I just threw down, which is, uh, I don't know what to call it, tactician bot sentry? Yeah, it's that thing there, the flying thing, and those things rarely get you kills. They basically shoot enemies. <coughs> wow, I'm sorry. I have a bit of a cough there. Anyway, they shoot enemies, and they generally don't get you kills, but they can get you assists. And what assists can actually lead to is, and this is a interesting sort of choice by Guerrilla Games, is, um, for example, if you get five assists, your bullet damage is increased, sort of like a um, stopping power perk, and that's only for that this game. And I guess it's sort of a way to counteract the amount of assists you're getting, because, I mean, I know one time I got 15 assists in a game, and it was really annoying. But you've also got things like aiming down the sights will give you faster aim after five kills, and uh, aiming from the hip will give you a faster reload. And, <coughs> wow. Uh, that was another cough, if you didn't know what that was. And if you didn't, I'm thoroughly confused how you couldn't know what a cough is. Anyway, um, oh, and objective matches. Uh, if you take an objective all by yourself, you get a double kill XP. So it rewards people who don't kill whore by giving them the incentive to kill whore. I don't know what they're thinking there, but it's a nice thing to get. But this game is really pretty. I really love just looking at it. This map itself is actually a remake of a Killzone 2 map. And... Gorilla, like, this, I got this as a, sort of a freebie for getting the Collector's Edition, and, well, not a freebie, because that's what I paid for. Uh, Gorilla did a good job in actually remaking the map. I'm sure they had the, like, the standard map together, but they've actually changed the daylight. The map itself is all rusted over, it's old, uh, you got plant life, if that's what you can call it, growing out of everywhere. So they actually, rather than just rehashed an old map with a updated graphics, they actually sort of re redu redid it. And it just looks really pretty. Um, I don't know what else there is to say. Just Killzone 3 is a really fun game. Except, my only gripe with it, and it's not like the game's fault, it's to do with the style of gameplay like Bad Company 2 is, even if you are an incredibly good player, if your team shit, you're gonna lose. And games like that do annoy me sometimes. Uh, that's why I do like Call of Duty, because then again, now and again I can uh, carry the team. So if we lose, I can actually try and, like, go in for the win by myself. But this isn't the case in this game. You need to have a good team. So if you've got friends or whatever that are interested in getting this game, you should get it as well. Like, well, you should get them to get it, and you can get it as well. It's a lot more fun that way. Um, the weapons are fairly balanced. Uh, there's one or two weapons that are a bit underpowered, this, once again. Sort of, sort of like Black Ops. It's the SMGs. Uh, not the one I'm using. There's one that the medic class uses, which can only kill people if you're within like two meters away from them, which is really annoying because people just knife you. And look at that, I got a nice little kill streak there. I think that's the highest kill streak I've got in this game over my two day period that I've been playing it over. <laughs> uh, uh, one last thing, uh, if you saw me shooting my teammates quite a bit, and you do that a lot in Killzone 3 because there's this class that can actually turn themselves into your teammates and then kill you and they're called infiltrators and they're really annoying. So everyone shoots everyone, no matter what team you're on. Uh, and I think that about does it. If you like this video, uh, show me your love by liking, commenting, etc, etc. And I'll see you next time, possibly with COD, possibly with Killzone. So, later.